What's up guys, Rock Just for Gaming here, and welcome back to another 7 Days to Die Beginner's Tips and Tricks Guide, where I go over the stuff for the total noob who doesn't know any better, or may know better and just wants to know. But anyway, uh, so I've been seeking you guys out for what I should be doing, or what tutorials or what guides you wanted me to make, and the one that was given to me this time was a weapon guide. Now, we're going to kind of divide this up into a couple videos here between like blunt weapons uh, archery weapons compound bows bows um, crossbows and then actual guns or firearms uh, we're gonna go over each firearm here just briefly what their ammo type is uh, their kind of damage that they take and then you know where you can get the the schematic or where you can how you can actually learn them uh, how to craft them first things first you can pretty much find any weapon out in the world just by looking. Um, you can either like loot them out of you know crates or uh, you know other objects, cars, trash bags. Uh, you can also get them from zombies that attack. So you can kill zombies, loot them. Sometimes you get a gun and some ammo. Sometimes you won't. Well, most times you won't. But anyway. So, first things first, here is the pistol in my hand right now. It's kind of your standard 9mm pistol. You use secondary fire, you aim down range. We're here at the working stiff tools. And... Pretty much self-explanatory, it is a pistol. To learn the pistol, you need the pistol book. Pistol takes 9mm rounds. Pretty straightforward. The second is the shotgun. Useful at close range only. You spawn a, spawn a zombie. You shoot him up. Because the ammo, the uh, the bullets spread as you shoot them. Now, the shotgun takes shotgun shells. Pretty self-explanatory again, but you don't know. Now, to choose, there's different types of ammo for each because you can use either shotgun shells or you can use shotgun slugs. And basically, to choose other types of ammunition, you hold R. And that brings up what type of ammo you want. Shotgun shells, shotgun slugs. Slugs are stronger ammo. It may not look it right up front, but here, let's... Spawn. And here she is. Hey, baby. <laughs> And that's it. The next weapon is the sawed off shotgun. Now, I personally don't really know the, the difference here um, between the two. I mean, one, from what I can see here on my little guide, one will do a higher DPS than the other. But all in all, they put out the same, the same type of actual weapon, or type of damage. Uh, the salt off okay. The salt off shotgun you can only use the shotgun shells, whereas the regular shotgun you can use the slugs. But if you hold R here, you can see nothing. And we'll just go Arlene. Come here, Arlene. She done got hurt. Okay, the next one. Oh, to learn the shotgun shells, or the shotguns, you need the shotgun recipe. Those are found in recipes. The sawed-off shotgun and the regular shotgun are found in recipes. Here's one that I learned about just recently, the blunderbuss. You actually know how to make this from the start. There's no recipe needed, none that I found. 
you can just make this from the start. You need forged iron, short iron pipe, glue, duct tape, and wood. And then to make blood bus ammo, stone, gunpowder, and paper. Pretty simple. Don't need anything, any forges, any workbench to do it. Nothing. So, blunderbuss, it's kind of like your old style blunderbuss. You shoot it, and it takes forever to reload. But, it's <laughs> very strong at close range. So, let's spawn Arlene again. Come here, Arlene. Look at that. And that destroyed her. One shot. The next one is the SMG. Basically, this is your first fully automatic weapon. Um, what this is, is basically your typical submachine gun. Aim down the sights. I mean, that's, uh, that's about it. The submachine gun is also found via a recipe, typically found during airdrops. I found this to be a lot more common during airdrops than anything else here, so we'll, we'll summon two Arlenes. And she is down. The next one is the AK-47. This is kind of one of the one of the more powerful of the guns. Um, the DPS actually is not as high as the SMG. The SMG has the highest DPS of this group. So again, AK-47 is also found in a recipe, typically found during airdrops or from military zombies. Right click, aim down sights. So let's spawn a couple bikers. Or not. Hey, here we go. No. Now the AK-47 is the first weapon that I've shown you so far to actually use 7.62 ammo. The SMG and the pistol all both use 9mm. Shotgun shell uses shell, shotgun uses shells, and the AK-47 uses 7.62. Now we have the toy, the rocket launcher. This is basically self-explanatory. This is a fucking rocket launcher. Um, you, this is your your clearing weapon. Uh, this is dropped typically from supply drops. The recipe for this, and it takes a lot to make, but once you get it, it's fun. Yeah, let's blow up the car. Blow up the sign. Oh, I missed. You're not blowing up. Oh, there, there goes the working stiff sign. Pretty self explanatory. You want a hole made? This will make a hole. Rocket launchers use rocket ammo. The next pistol that we have on the uh, agenda here, the 44 Magnum. This is one of the strongest pistols that you can have because it just fires the hardest. Yeah, it fires the hardest. You use a special 44 Magnum ammo. And uh, let's do a couple cheerleaders. Come here, baby.
as you can see, very strong. Took off both her arms and the head. Now, we can't forget sniper rifles. There are two. You have the hunting rifle, which is basically shoot one round at a time. Use a 7.62 ammo, as well as the other sniper rifle uses 7.62 ammo. Now, the sniper, or the uh, hunting rifle, is exactly that. It's kind of made for hunting. You know, you get it a lot at farms, as well as the recipe can drop from um, airdrops as well. Aim down the sights, shoot, bolt action, reload. So let's go Arlene, Arlene, and a biker. Dropper. As you can see, a headshot with one of these things is very lethal. The next one is the sniper rifle. This is kind of, this is basically your, your be all end all of guns. 7.62 ammo, uh, recipe typically found from airdrops. And once you can get one of these built, it's, it's very, very fun and very, very nice. The zoom is adjustable. You right click and you can scope in and scope out. As well as it's all, not automatic, but it's multi round, so you can go five shots. At which point, then you're forced to reload. So let's go right there. We'll spawn a bear. Or not. Okay, we'll go right here. Or on top of me. That works too. Yep. Goodbye, bear. You're done. So again, most of these are all dropped via airdrop. You can get a lot of these recipes either just by, you know, looting, foraging, but most of them are found via airdrops. Um, again, pistol, 9mm, SMG, 9mm. They used to have 10mm ammo in Alpha 15, but they actually removed that because it was never really used and never really useful and used only in one gun. And they just kind of made 9mm more viable. AK-47 uses 7.62, as well as the hunting rifle and the sniper rifle. Shotguns use shotgun shells and slugs. And then, of course, the uh, 44 Magnum uses 44 Magnum slugs. So, that was just kind of a, a typical, uh, a little gun overview here. Um... Most of the most of the game, the early levels, you're going to be using the pistol the most of all because it drops the most abundant. It's going to be the easiest to repair and keep going, as well as 9mm ammo is one of the first things that you learn. So, uh, you open up your talents, go to firearms, gunsmithing, you, know, you can do... 9 mil, 44 mag, shotgun shell, 762. Again, as I said, with the blunderbuss, you can do everything with that from the start. You don't need any training, any type of recipes, or anything. So, that's really, really a nice advantage in the beginning games if you can't get a shotgun to start. So, yeah, we pretty much tore up uh, working stiffs here. All right, so that's your that's your uh, firearm guide. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And let me know what you thought. Let me know what you could have done differently. Uh, if you disliked it, hit that dislike button. Again, leave a comment below. And let me know what you thought. Let me know what you would have done differently. I am Rochester Gaming, and I'll see you in the next guide.